Hello and welcome to my new video. If you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Lex and this is Lost Falls and today we're going to be visiting 15 different Able sisters on different dream addresses. Check out the creators and their dream addresses below. In some cases I won't share the map or the dream address in the video because the creator has asked me not to. So just keep an eye on their social media for when they decide to release the dream address if they do. Also, sneak peek of my bedroom. You're welcome. Keep an eye out for my interior tour coming soon. Very first, we're gonna be visiting the island of Evergreen. This is just a beautiful island. I mean, such a nice setup here. It's so cozy and I think it really fits these early autumn vibes. Just everything about this is great. I think it also really matches with the way I perceive the Abel sisters. So yeah, this is such an inspiring shop. And look at this little setup right in front, the little table and it's like a little coffee lounge. It's so cute. And this creator is one who has kind of joined Nook's Cranny and Abel sisters into one little shopping district, which is great. I love that they've included this little spinning wheel in front of Abel Sisters. I don't know, this area just feels so complete and whole and it just looks fantastic. Across from this fountain is where the Nook's Cranny is, so that's what I meant by, you know, a little shopping district. And here is the map so that you can kind of situate yourself. That's where Abel Sisters is placed in regards to the rest of everything. Next up we have the island of Celestial. I think it's fitting that we see this island at night. We can see all of the lights, the mush lamps, and the nova lights and everything are so cute. This area has nice little pops of color which I think is great. Um, it just looks so charming in the snow. I love how the lights on the tree look and this creator just did a great job of making this area really fit together. The Gable Sisters have the little sewing area to the right, and it's super close to resident services, so convenient for shopping. You can see here where it is in relation to everything else. And we are moving right along. This is the island of Cretopia. It is so beautiful and whimsical. There are so many super lush colors. It also really made me miss the summer months, just seeing green. I was like, yeah, I need to time travel back. Um, but yeah, I think this area is so cute. And again, near Nook's Cranny, and it has this little garden to the right, which I thought was so, you know, unique and cute. It just looks so, uh, so welcoming. I loved this one. And yeah, I think it's super inspiring. There's so much here packed into this really small space and it all looks great together. Also, I found Michaela walking around. Great. The Snook's Cranny is also super cute. But yeah, here is the map for Cretopia so you can get an idea of where the Abel Sisters shop is. Super convenient. Another unique and elegant idea here, we have an Abel Sisters shop that is closely bordered by Raymond's house. And the creator has informed me that Raymond is sort of a tailor for the island. It seems like he specializes in wedding getups. These dresses are incredible. I also thought it was super clever that the creator put, you know, like Able Sisters items, you know, in-game clothing items right beside Able Sisters, but used a lot of custom designs beside Raymond's house. It really made the area feel more authentic. And I just thought this was such an elegant, like nice city vibe. I really liked this area. Also the stairs right here right beside Able Sisters, the alternating bushes and flowers. Everything was so well done. I adored it. Here is the map. You can see the tailors are tucked away pretty far up to the left. And next we have the Island of Serenity. 
I was obsessed. You can see this island is in cherry blossom season. I thought it was really cool how the land dropped off right beside Able Sisters. So you have like these layered trees, a mix of cherry blossom trees and bamboo trees. It was just so cool to see. I mean, I was walking around this island for so long just because I was like shocked at everything I was seeing. Also, not gonna lie, the museum on this island slaps. Here is the lovely map for Serenity so you can get an idea of the super cool terraforming and some symmetrical vibes we've got going on. Super nice island. Now we're on the really swag island of Carbonara. Here is Enna standing to watch us tour. She really did just stand there like the whole time though. Anyway, here is Enna's Able Sisters setup. Super classy and elegant. For winter, Enna is going for like a mostly white vibe. It looks so good, so cohesive. I really like the lost item on the table here. And I thought this view was really nice. I'm not like usually a fan of utility poles, but for some reason it really just hit me here. It looks so good. But yeah, this area is just really nice, really convenient. It's close to resident services and Nook's Cranny is right beside it. As I said, Inna watched like the whole time from this exact place. Maybe her character was broken. Anyway, now we're on the island of Moonscar. And this was an astonishing island. I loved the fog. Like I couldn't even see Able Sisters. I don't even know how many times I ran past it before I like finally realized I was just running past it because I couldn't see it. But isn't that so cool and spooky? You can see the Halloween vibes that are still going on on this island, but I was just speechless. The fog was so cool. You can see from the map how interesting the terraforming is here. You can see the little moon island and the symmetrical bridges in the middle. It just looks so cool. Next, we have an island that might be familiar to you if you watched my cluttered cottage core tour. This is the island of White Rose by Luna. I think this Able Sisters is so nice and cozy. There's so much going on here and it just feels I don't know, it feels right for the Able Sisters. The sewing stuff, the kimono stand, it's all so cute. Also this pathway, like leading up to Able Sisters is incredible. I love this little corridor. It's like a waterfall corridor. Is that not gorgeous? I got lost like 14 times, even though I already toured this island. Here is the map. The terraforming here is absolutely stunning. I definitely recommend visiting this island as well. Check out the dream address. It is so beautiful. Our next beautiful island is Nook's Isle, which is super festive, so very timely if you're looking for inspiration for your winter island. I know Toy Day is coming up. Isn't it tomorrow? I'm not sure. I can't remember what day Toy Day is. Is it, is it Christmas? I don't know, but anyway, that's not the point. This island is perfect for inspo, for just this general season. I mean, look how beautiful all of this is. The reds here really pop. It's so cool and like the foresty vibes, they just hit different. But yeah, look at this island's terraforming, just so cool. Now we journey to the lovely Orca Isle. I thought this was also super festive and inspiring for the winter season. I mean, look at this Able Sisters shop. It's so cute with the little stalls, the tabletop festive tree. Ignore the fact that I just ran through that frame. But yeah, look how cute everything is. I love the seating area and it's so thoughtful that the creator has placed this little heater, the space heater. It's so cute. I was obsessed with this island. It was just gorgeous terraforming and decor all around. I mean, look how cute this is. It's also another example of a shopping district. Nook's Cranny is right here, so that's a bonus for the video. You get to see a lot of Nook's Crannies as well. You're welcome. Also, the pathing here was super interesting. It had like a braided style, which I liked. 
This Able Sisters was super close to resident services, and this is how it was situated in the map. Pretty central. This is the island of Nurmengard. I thought it was so charming at night. I loved all of the colors and I thought it was super cute that there was like a pumpkin patch beside Able Sisters just here to the right. I love the scarecrow and everything. It just, this area looks so cute and believable as a little pumpkin patch. Also, this tent really did it for me. I don't know why, but I was just obsessed with this little like tent alcove and like the distant fountain and the distant light. It was just a vibe altogether. I was super glad that the dream address was set to night so I could experience it at this time because it was truly gorgeous. Here you can see just how detailed this map is, how much terraforming is going on. It is a stunning map, truly. And then this is another familiar creator, Steven. This is another of their islands, Aqualus. I hope I'm saying that right, but this is just stunning. I loved that I was here while the Aurora was out. It was just beautiful. I loved all of the lights. And this is another timely one, very festive in the winter. All of the reindeer and snowflakes and the lights, just everything was beautiful. Not to speed run, but this is the island of Kalamata. I hope I'm saying that right as well, but I loved this island. Is it not adorable? Like, look how precious this is. I love the stalls. This is another festive island, super timely. If you're looking for that winter inspiration, there was like a little market to the left that just blew me away. It was so cool. Like, everything was so well put together. The decor here is so nice. This Able Sister shop was also conveniently close to resident services, so I didn't have to journey far. You can see here how it's situated, you know, in the context of the complete island. This is another lovely example of terraforming. I have no idea how to pronounce this island name. I think it's Belle Ile or something, or just Isle maybe. Anyway, I loved this. Ignore the fact that I was once again in the frame, but look at the little teddy bear dress. Isn't it precious? I loved the cherry tree beside Abel Sisters. I love placing just any red item nearby because the building is so unique. Also, I love this thing to the side, this little waterfall lounge area. And again, Nook's Cranny is super close by. This is great if you're coming to this creator's island to shop because Everything is right here at the front. This is the map, just so you can get an idea of the rest of the island. It's super well structured, so big fan of this island as well. Last, but certainly not least, we have the island of Eventide. This island was so vibrant. I was just in shock. like. There was furniture everywhere and it was so colorful and beautiful. It just, everything fit together, even though there were so many colors going on. And I really admire that in an island as someone who really struggles to make different colors conform to my theme. There were plentiful seating areas. I thought this island was really well set up and I loved the festive trees on the cliff with the waterfall, this changing and picnic station. Everything was so fitting and cute for the Able Sisters. Also, this couch is so cute. Like, it has a retro vibe solely based on the color. I was vibing on this island, truly. Here is the map. You can see just how in-depth this terraforming is. I mean, it is stunning. Definitely check out the stream address if you're looking for waterscaping inspiration as well. And with that, we wrap up my tours of different Able Sisters shops. I hope you are inspired and that you're excited to work on your own island now. Thank you so much to all of the creators who offered their dream addresses to me for this video. I really appreciate you sharing your beautiful work with all of us. Remember to check the description for links to every one of these creators and 
where possible I have shared the dream address. It was also on the maps in the video, but if you missed it, it'll be in the description as well. Thank you so much for watching my video and for being here. Here is Peaches. I love you guys so much and I hope all of you have a great day. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!